Okay, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I am here with my day 17 for Mr. Rich's worst movies that I own. And uh, we just watched the, this movie at a party, and everybody just loved it. <laughs> I'm on the road with the uh, Mistress of Diabetes right now. Hello. So we're uh, going to be doing this together, so hopefully no one minds. Alright, and the movie that we're doing today is Ankle Biters. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is a midget vampire movie that has a Blade-esque type character in it. Oh, he's not even Blade-esque. Well, if, if you had to pick a <laughs> he's, hero... He's completely Blade. He's completely Blade. Except like if he's he, not black. Except he's not black. He's like a Puerto Rican or Mexican. Something I don't of that sort. what he is. And um, he has a little... A little sidekick, a little midget sidekick. Named T-Bone. Named T-Bone. And um, they have to kill these vampires before they... Because you know, the reason that they're all midget vampires is because it's some sort of curse on them. Is it a curse? It's a curse that, like... Oh, I didn't get that. <clears throat> and they have to stab a human being with this, like, regular sword, or this sword, to make him into the, the new tallest vampire to make a whole new race of, of vampires that are tall. It's a great movie, folks. Mm -hmm. And how do you like this? Um, vampires, at least in this movie, cannot be killed by any traditional means that you've ever heard of before. Do you know how they get killed? By syringes from this Blade character that I'm talking about. He takes blood out of his own body and stabs other vampires with that blood and that kills them. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be his blood. Like, if he got another vampire... Yeah, it'd just be, like, vampires... Any, uh, yeah, any vampire blood. Any vampire, vampire blood will kill the, another vampire. So oh, it's like it's like weird vampire a super AIDS or something. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what they said, super AIDS. Super AIDS. It'd be babes. Babes? babes. Vampire AIDS? <laughs> um, and the whole movie is kind of like them trying to beat the tallest vampire. And there's a side story where... He has to get all these other, like, vampire hunters to help him. Like, the guy, there's, like, a guy there that looks like, like a cracked-out Bill Mosley. And then there's the cowboy, who, um, apparently rides in, not on a steed, but on one of those, like, go-kart airplane-looking things. Mm -hmm. oh, God, this movie's terrible. <laughs> and it, the soundtrack for it is great at the end. When the credits roll, it's, uh, what is it? Three feet far. Tall, two foot inch fangs. Yeah, and the whole and the whole thing is like a rock soundtrack, but then it goes three feet tall, two inch fangs, three feet tall, two inch fangs. But it's real hardcore rap. It's like yeah, yeah. no, it's rocking. I thought it was more like a. It's a rap rock. It's like okay. it's like, like it's like, it's like, kid, it's, like it's like it's like it's like like Kid Rock. It is really. Yeah, it's like Kid Rock. Yeah. The whole thing was done like in Alabama Southland. <laughs> At Atlanta. The Bayou. The Bayou. The Bayou. And I just, it just, this movie all, it's all sorts of terrible. It, it, they said, it, this movie was at least released in 2000, but it looks like it was made in like in 1995. Um, yeah, like it wasn't in focus. It wasn't in the focus through half terrible. of it. The, the, yeah, the, the audio was fucking awful. It went from super fucking loud to like, <laughs> like fucking whispering. You know, your mom whispers to my dick. That's weird. That's terrible. It's <laughs> a penis whisper. <laughs> and it's your mom. That's gross. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> your review. I don't know what else to say about this movie. Uh, there, there isn't much. There, uh, it, this movie is highly rated though on Netflix. I think it gets like I think it gets like a 3.0 uh, out of five. On Netflix, but I know this movie is so fucking low rated on IMDb. Since I'm on the road right now, I can't tell you the exact ratings, but I remember last time looking on Netflix about this movie. Um, that's what I remember seeing. Uh, just don't watch this movie. <laughs> it's bad. Um, if I guess we, I had to find it, I found, my girlfriend found it. Or actually, no, it's not my girlfriend that found this. I guess there are some sort of Christmas present from somebody. And I know you can get it for like five, ten bucks. So I guess if you were really hardcore into vampires and, you know, want to see midget vampires, 
But the midget vampire, let, let's express, the midget vampire part is not as exciting as you would think. Yeah, it's not exciting. And, they, like, they automatically, they, that's what they call ankle biters. I swear to God, they go for the ankles every fucking time they attack somebody. Well, I thought that part was great. Yeah, that's why they call them ankle biters. But then they That's just, why they keep the sweet meats for the midgets. They just left that awesomeness and went to a horrible place. Yeah. And there's a whole side story that's, like, in the middle of the movie about, like, these midget vampires going after pot smoking teenagers. I missed that completely. Yeah. I was in the bathroom or something. Yeah. And I um, wasn't in there that long, just so you yeah. know. Yeah. It was like four minutes, a four minute like side story. But it was terrible. Uh, yeah. Ankle biters. Don't see it, folks. I didn't like it. Nobody liked it. <laughs> Got a couple laughs. That's about it. Uh, Anything else to say? Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Mr. Rich going off for the worst movies that I own for day 17. 17. All right, bye-bye.